o'clock, but let's do it. Baby. It's been a while, kid. I guess the goat couldn't have predicted how you'd turn out, could it? Remind me to add a question about rescuing your teacher from the vault jail. If the vault ever goes back to normal, that is. By the way, while I was in there, I heard some worrying things from the guards. I heard one of the guards, the guards talking about some sort of plan to raid Amada and the rest of us. I didn't hear anything else, but I think he read it on the security terminal. So maybe you can find more there. I'm sure it's bad news for us all. Most of arrival. them are just kids who are caught up in the idea of seeing the world. But I know we've got to actually open the vault if we want to survive. Otherwise, we're just going to dwindle away down here until it's all too late. What it was pretty what rough, I'll tell here? you. I know a lot of folks blame your dad. But I know he didn't mean to cause all that. Don't blame him or yourself. Watch yourself down here. I'm gonna regret sitting in this watch. You never should have left, kid. Now we'll make sure nobody ever leaves again. Jail cell password. Wow, thanks. There are times that I feel the primal part of me pulling me away.
You don't belong here anymore. There is safety in my boat. Don't you know enough to stay away? You don't belong here anymore. It's amazing that people trust you enough not to attack me. Yeah, sure is. the overseer. Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for Daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. Tainted? You're the crazy bastard who murdered Jonas. I assume you're talking about the unpleasantness when you left? Yes? Jonas and your father were endangering the future success of this vault and the safety of its residents. I did what I had to do to keep them from destroying all we had achieved here. I only wish I could have prevented it from happening at all. First of all, I didn't kill Jonas. I commanded Chief Hannon to do so, but only because it had to be done. Better. Jonas was going to leave with your father. If he left, others would have left to join them, and they'd all vanish into the wastes, never to return. And with our numbers so depleted, we wouldn't be able to last beyond another generation, assuming our expatriates didn't lead raiders to us first. It won't be here while you're in charge. You're not protecting them, you're destroying them. Can't you see that? I'm afraid you're the short-sighted one here. I'm simply keeping them safe and untouched by the war above. The real danger are the rebels and insurgents who insist on risking all of our lives just to die out there in the wastes. If they weren't trying to throw our lives away like that, we could go back to the peaceful life we once had. Everyone would be happy again. Why are they rebelling? I just don't know. Don't they realize how dangerous it is out there? But instead, they would throw away the safety of the vault's isolation just to follow in your footsteps. I can't allow them to do that to themselves or to the rest of us. I believe I have the solution to all to the vault's problems. To fix problems. what you started? Go ahead and humor me. I'll put a stop to the rebels. I'll put a st Hmm. Just let me have a word you always you. have held a certain sway with them that neither I nor my guards have enjoyed. All right then, go to my daughter and convince her to leave this rebellious nonsense behind. What do you want? Hey, 
You need to open the vault. I admit, in the 200 years since the war, our numbers have dwindled a little. But we have enough genetic diversity for a few more generations. My god, you're right. We won't last another hundred years whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. Humanity isn't about pure genetics. It's about never giving up hope. Even <laughs> now. I wish I could share your optimism, but I suppose you have a point in your blathering way. My way won't save our vault's mission, but if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as Overseer. I'll tell Wait, Amata what? that I can think of Whoa. no more appropriate leader than she. Whoa! Amata is the Overseer now. It's gonna be the Overseer now. Okay, Mata, I got some really good news for you. I didn't think he was gonna step down. I thought he was gonna kinda Attempts to keep us all safe, I have been, perhaps, overzealous. Lives have been lost, but perhaps worse than that, lives have been stopped. And in my attempts to keep you safe, I have kept you from growing up. I know I have made these mistakes, and I would make them again if I had to do so. That is why I cannot remain your overseer. Father! Amata, I appoint you overseer in my place. You've proven you have what it takes to make hard choices for the good of the vaults. I'm just sorry I didn't understand that earlier. Consider it one of many mistakes I've made. Thank you, Father. I'll do my best to keep us all safe, inside the vault and beyond. You're welcome, my dear. And now, if you'll excuse me, I feel quite worn down. We'll it's deal with the details soon, in private. Until then, I'm sure there are people waiting to congratulate you. Good to see you. I never th I... I just heard. My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. I just had a little talk to him and explain a few things. All quite civil. You both care about Vault's presence, but in a different way. It's hard to forgive what he's done, but I suppose I can understand why he did it. I'm glad you brought him to his senses. But now there's a new overseer in charge, and I'm planning on opening the Vault. This time for good. It's a bright new day for the Vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. Whatever it is, I'm glad I helps. know you are. And on behalf of the Vault, I thank you for all you've done. But there are still many who blame you for everything that happened. So, I have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the Vault, you have to go. I understand. We can Goodbye, never really Martha. thank you enough for everything you've done. It's not much, but... 
Take this with you, to remember us by. It'll be a while before we're actually ready to go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. But with luck, we'll meet again. It's good to see you again. Well, leave Vault 101 forever. Man, I sure... It's a shame. It's a shame you gotta go. But you'll do okay out there, I'm sure. Why don't you just come with me? <laughs> Go on, get out. You don't belong here anymore. Okay. Okay, I'm done here. out there fighting your battles for you. Give them a big thanks. Or even better, some ammo. Until next time, this is Three Dog. Ooh, and you listen. This is a high priority message. Backup is needed at our location. Any personnel listening on this frequency, please report at once. Yeah, I'll be right back. Actually, I'm going to end the stream here for now, and I'm going to get myself some...